All right, next up we have Eduardo Contreras giving a talk called Designing with a Decentralized Group. Eduardo is an electronics engineer, passionate technology development, or sorry, Eduardo is an electronics engineer, passionate about technology development and science. He is a co-founder of Electronic Cats Company, which has developed a variety of products from educational satellites, CANSATs, to embedded systems in the IoT sector. He is also a collaborator in the Inventor's House Hackerspace, one of the first hackerspaces in Mexico. Please welcome him to the stage. Hey. Hi. Uh, thank you for having me here. And it has been a great uh, convention. I mean, it's the first time of KeyCon, so I'm very excited and I'm very thankful for the invitation and for having me here. So, as you say, thanks for the introduction. Uh, I'm co-founder of Electronic Cats, a startup of Mexico, and we design hardware and embedded systems. Uh, along with uh, this design, we have uh, the community of the Inventor's House that is one of the first hackerspaces in Mexico, and we want to improve the community in Mexico of hardware and maker spaces. So we have worked with a lot of people around the Republic and designed some products for some event. That it's, I, well, that's what I'm going to talk about. So that's why we decided to design with decentralized groups. First, the first I want to make some context. There's a lack of design, uh, hardware designers. I mean, in Mexico, <clears throat> There's a lot of electronic engineers or, me or mechatronic engineers, but they all want to be at the manufacturer sector over the design sector. So they prefer to go to some companies like Kia Motors or N Nissan that are at, the, at Mexico producing some cars over design its own products. And they have, with that work, less responsibilities and less stress. So that's why I think that there's more uh, engineers in Mexico going to the manufacturing center uh, sector uh, over the design sector. So another another thing is that you can like find designers uh, like everywhere in Mexico. I think that here at US it's like common, but it's not so common. And when you find a designer, there's a common profile over all the designers, like. He doesn't know or she doesn't know the Git or any version control. He doesn't know uh, well how to work uh, as a team. They work all by himself or herself. And normally they use only Windows. At least at Mexico, this is a, a very common profile. I don't know if you know someone like this. That they don't share their designs and they are like very close. And only designing fancy software. They are like, I, I, I only use Cadence or Allegro or I mean or Altium. So th those kind of designers uh, could be the best one, but they are not uh, completely focused on the group, uh, on the teamwork. So in Mexico, if you look for the open source uh, hardware certification, you can. Uh, type MX, and you will see that there's only nine projects registered. So in all Mexico, all the, the electronic engineers that are uh, giving projects or designing projects, they don't open their their, their projects, and there's only nine uh, projects uh, registered. N uh, six of the nine are of my comp my my startup. <laughs> so here you can see the Bass Pro Mini. The CatSat1, Cat1 Citizen, Cat1 USB stick, and Scornabot, and the Meow Meow. You should uh, hear some Meow Meow thing, no? No? Well, <laughs> that's the 66% of the OSHU in Mexico. And it's six of nine projects. There's a lack of projects in Mexico. Nine projects, it's too poor. So, if you, for, if, if you see uh, for the US project, there's <coughs> 179 projects. So 179 over nine, it's like a huge difference. I mean, we are at a conference here at the US, and we are like 200 people. So in Mexico, one conference like this is almost impossible because <laughs> there no, there's no, so is, uh, there's no, as many users as they are here uh, from Kikat. Well, 
since you have to, to design a project, you need more designers. So you need to find another designer which know how to do version control or Git, do you know, uh, who knows how to work in team and to know uh, how to use Linux, Mac OS or Windows and designing multiple cats. But that's almost impossible. So what I say is you need an engineer who adapt quickly to the changes. If you put some software new, some new software or a new tool, the engineer can learn about that software and how to use it without the, the complications of not, not wanting to learn more or learn new things. Well, that's all the context around Mexico uh, with the designers. The reality is in Mexico, there's a lack of hardware designers. They're, they are like two types. They share the, its knowledge with you or they ignore you. Like you don't exist and they just go out with its projects and they don't share. Oh, obviously, most designers in Mexico will ignore you. <laughs> Let's imagine that you move and you were assisting to events where the maker community is on and you meet, you knew the, the correct people. But the people live far from you, they have different OS, and they live in different areas and have different tools. Like they have an, um, uh, I forgot the, the oven, the uh, overflow oven, and we have like the laser, the, the head gun machine, and they have only uh, sol solder tips. So <clears throat> each designer has too many different tools as the budget allows you them. So you need to know how to work with them to get a good manufacturer and good design. Well, until this moment, the fine design in Mexico was very difficult, so you, you need to work with, you have, with, with the thing that you have. So you have like four designers of KiCad in Mexico, and they don't have the correct computer to design or to do some renders, they don't have all the tools, but they want to, they want to participate, so you work with that. So you need to decentralize. If you, de if you decide to decentralize, you can work with the team members from over your country or even the world, divide work over task and achieve better design times, uh, get more ideas over the design and get better products, get more revisions about all the team members, and get help of multi multidisciplinary people who can give you another point of view from your design. As you can get a graphical design to, to, to improve the image of the product, or you can get um, an educator to, to, to allow you to get another point of view to get a better educational kit, for example. How? First, well, in all the, my projects that I have participated in, uh, I follow these steps. First, I identify the project which needs the, 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 the central institute group, needs a complex design, or the lead time to deliver the project is short. Then we get the team. Then you, you need to define a, channel, a communication channel where you can follow the tasks and, uh, and also follow the possible, the possible mistakes and define roles. We can have like a team of four uh, poor electronic engineers, but every electronic engineer can, dis can do uh, some different, uh, some different um, works. So they can like design the schematic, design the PCB, go for sponsorships, etc. You need to define the time for each part of the project. Later on, when you have the times, you need to hard, uh, work hard as possible because you have like a complex design or a lead time short. And then you need to deliver the project. To explain you uh, in a better way this, this method, I will tell you one, one story of one project that we messed up to one event, that it's the batch of the lands. We defined the project. This project was mega batch for a big event down in Guadalajara, Mexico. 
The challenge was make it as cheaper as possible and design it to produce one, uh, 100 units in three weeks and a half. So yeah, I look at your faces. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, didn't go in well. <laughs> First, we get the team. We were five people of different states in Mexico. Eden Candela from Monterrey, that is in the north. Gustavo Renaga from Sinaloa, which is an IT engineer. Armando Are, which is from Guanajuato, and he's a graphical designer. Andres Sabas, which is an electronic uh, engineer, Aguascalientes. And of course, me, Eduardo Contreras. Then we define a communication channel. We choose WhatsApp. So that wasn't a good idea because we thought that the project was short, so, well, it wasn't so helpful, WhatsApp, because we have like a, a lot of threads to be talking about and we were like crossing cables. So I recommend you to use chats like Slack or Discord to, uh, to divide uh, the threads and to give a better trace about all the conversation about the project and get some boards of tasks like, like Asana or Trello. These boards are very common on software development. So if you apply them to a, a hardware development, you can improve a lot of tasks and a lot of uh, communication because you, know, you, you don't need to like, send a message like, you fi did you finish the schematic? You, you only see the, the tasks and then when they're done, you can continue working. Then you define the roles. We define the roles. Andres Abad was the project leader and the, 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 the person in charge of the sponsorships. Armando Are was in charge of board shape and in illustration. Then Gustavo Reynaga uh, transported the design of Armando to PCB and checked the schematic. And, and then Candelas and me uh, do, did the, all the schematics and PCB layouts. So we depend uh, on, on all of the sites. So this is what we were working. Uh, here you have uh, from the north is Eden Candela from Monterrey. Then you have Gustavo Renaga from Sinaloa. Then Andres Abbas and Eduardo Contreras, me, at Aguas Calientes, just in the middle. And then you have Armando Are at Guanajuato. And the, tal the event, Talent Land, was at Guadalajara. So we were working around the Republic without problem. Well, you need to define times because you have a lead time that you need, you must complete. So we didn't define those times. Yep, another mistake. <laughs> we just work as the work was being doing, the was being done. So as as fast as he finished, I start and and everything goes like that. Uh, here is the short uh, description that uh, how did we work. We, while Armando was gave, uh, designing the, the design of the PCBs, uh, we were working on the schematic and doing some revisions. And then when Armando finished, Gustavo covered, uh, uh, converted to edge cuts and silk screen. And then we finished everything uh, to complete the uh, schematic and just wrote it. Uh, while we were doing all that stuff, Andres Abbas was working on the sponsorships, and he he uh, he he bring uh, the sponsorship from Expressive, Mouser, Good, and PCB Way. Uh, they find all that work uh, was done in one one week and a half. We finished all that. We uh, we did that that timing, but it was so so hard. Uh, it wasn't f uh, easy, and we could make it easy if we have uh, this, uh, defined times lately. So, if you define times in the right in the in the right time, you can work really really nice, and you can you can prevent events that, that could happen. You can prevent uh, some mistakes or, or or else. Well, then you need to work as hard as possible. Here's the sad part where all the projects begin to began to be more complex because the PCBs uh, the PCBs arrived just one day after the event, before the event, so we couldn't assemble them. 
Some components arrive bad, so we need to ask them again. And we tried to assemble the boards at the bend, but it was impossible. So also, there was an QFN packet that we couldn't solder. So we, well, we could solder like one or two, but then when you arrived the 100 pieces, it was awful because we didn't have the, the right tools. When, well, that, go, that went wrong, uh, wrong, and then we delivered the project. The project didn't deliver well. And the delivers, uh, we delivered some boards to some communities that helped us to achieve the, the goal. Um, well, we learned a lot about how to work between teams around the country and prevent the mistakes like we did. One thing that is really important is the version control. There were some uh, conferences yesterday that talk about version control, and there there be one uh, conference right now. I, I don't know when it is, but they told they, they told you how to uh, use version control, and it's really important because you need to see who changed something and when change when he he did change something, and you can get like well you can get like all the communication to do the, all the ch the changes and you got the version control and you can like return to a an, an previous version to get your your pcb your previous pcb if you miss it up with something if you don't want to use code you can use a good idea, uh, ui uh, i recommend git kraken it's really cool the tool and it looks like this so it's very visual, and you can see like the branches and the commits from well, who did the commit, and if there's a another remote uh, another remote uh, repository, you can push to another rem another repository, or you can do merge uh, easily. Even if if it's a PCB, you can do the merge it. It shows you a really nice interface to do the merge. And well, I recommend Git Kraken. I have been using it for three years, four. So it's really com it's really good. If you don't like this, you can find a lot of UIs for GitHub or Bitbucket or something. The batch, it's like that. You can see Tesla. And we wanted to do a Marie Curie uh, face, but the designer didn't finish it. So we used that face. <laughs> from a girl. And the batch was with an ASP8266, 11 neopixels, CP2104 integrated, so you can reprogram your ASP uh, just by plugging in the USB, and IR LED and IR receiver, and all the things with $10. So the sponsorship went well, and, and that's the that 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 goal we we we, we did it <laughs> and that's all <laughs> if you want to see more from the project there's a, that's the link of the hack day project and there's the link for the github repositories so feel free to get the files put a Put it on Oshpark to see an and blue uh, purple Tesla. I don't know. <laughs> Are there any questions? We have time. So, are you going to do it again next year? No. <laughs> I'm doing another one, but the talent land of this year has happened a week uh, a week before. So, I wasn't with the time, and I needed to came to Chicago here. So. <laughs> Another question? No, not, nothing. Um, I had a question. The yeah. Kit Kraken is that web based or? No, it's okay. well, well, it's based on Electron, okay. so it's a JavaScript you're just running like a Chrome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you just download it onto. Your yeah, you computer? download. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you.